and orange. Let's start with some black thread. Strip off a little bit of the fuzzies. We're going to put that right up against. We're just going to tie that in. I'm just going to leave that tag on there. It doesn't matter. keeping that as smooth as possible. Even though the chenille actually <clears throat> makes it so you don't even have to have a really smooth body, but that's okay. It will show up if there's bumps. And now you just wanna wrap this around. You can use um, some gold wire as well. You could tie that in when you tie in the chenille. I do that sometimes, it's not essential. You don't need to do it every time. Now, um, sometimes with this chenille, I'll use hackle pliers or I'll do what I do with my um, pheasant tails and I'll just put my index finger and hold it while I wrap it around. And if I'm not filming most of the time, that's how I do it because it's just faster for me. And of course, right now it's not as fast, but that's the joys of being on camera now, isn't it? Okay, twice around, sometimes once around, and then a two jamming wraps, sometimes three. We're just gonna cut that right up there. There it is. <clears throat> this is almost done. Now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hackle, strip off all the fuzzies off the bottom of the hackle. Now, as far as hackle goes, this is roughed grouse. You can use, of course, the traditional partridge if you have it. Around my neck of the woods, people call roughed grouse partridge. <laughs> and it's got really cool speckling, depending on where you get them and what phase they're in. They could have some wildly different colors. Sometimes they're in copper phase or gray phase, brown phase, whatever you want to call it. And sometimes I actually prefer to have really long hackle on this. And the reason why I feel like it's like a little tiny brook trout uh, fry or something, some kind of or imitation bait fish. And I'm just gonna push that in. Sometimes you can leave the tag on there. I honestly, because this tag is so small, it's not even gonna be a problem, but we'll, we'll clean it up now. Take your any type of hackle pliers. I do the plunger style. And I'm just gonna preen this back a bit. Just preening it back a bit. And I'll hold it while I'm pulling it back. And it helps a little bit, okay? Now, you don't have to go too many times with this but at least two times around. And there we go. We're just gonna leave it at two times. I don't want it too hackly. All right, twice in the back. A couple jamming wraps here. And we're just gonna pull that back over here and with my ever so shaky surgeon's hand, take that off. Now you can see what I'm talking about with the hackle being a little bit longer. I like that. I think that it gives so much more life to this fly. Anyways, we're just gonna pull everything back. And while I do that, without getting stabbed with this hook because these R7 hooks are freaking sharp. <clears throat> Way sharper than like a mustad. Okay, now we're gonna do a whip finish. There, just a four turn whip finish. And on smaller flies, I always take my scissors and just cinch that down. Don't forget to set your knot on that whip finish. 
or else it'll come undone. Now, that is that. Looks awesome. Oops, yes, there we go. I was trying to make it look pretty for the camera right now. There we are. Next step <clears throat> is we're gonna use some Sally Hansen's as our lacquer. And I just dab a bit off to the side and I will take a bodkin and I will just grab a nice little dollop of it. And the first one is going to go right into there. Okay, I'll just let that set for a second and we're just gonna grab it just a little bit more and just let it sit on top. If you do more than that, you are going to have a tacky mess on your hands. That's it, folks. It's a great fly. Love using it. Swing it. You can uh, dead drift it under a, a heavy nymph uh, on, the, on the tag. Um, you can do a whole bunch of things with this. Put it behind a streamer while you're streamer fishing. There's a lot of things you can do with this and it's a super effective fly. It works all the time. Uh, as during trout season, our trout season starts in late April and ends in the end of September. And it works all the time throughout the season. So give it a whirl, only a couple materials and that's it. Super effective. Hope you try it out. Have a good day.